Hey guys, how you doing? Before I get started, it's a three, four minute video. Don't worry, this isn't gonna be long. Um, hit the like and subscribe button down on your bottom right. That'll take you to some other awesome videos on how to do some things that are related to trash and hauling. So if you want a little education and backstory on how to do some things, check them out. Special thanks to Katagnus for letting us show people how to use their scale and special thanks to Hunter Truck. All right, first of all, thank you for using LNS Demolition and Recycling. And they're proud to be able to serve you and it's their pleasure and wanted to put this video together to help you on a safe journey through their facility. You're first gonna observe the three or four signs that we have here in the picture. It's imperative that you don't talk on your cell phone and you observe the speed limit signs. While you're here on the premises, please maintain observant to your surroundings. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of heavy equipment and it's imperative that you pay attention and don't assume that someone is watching you, that you watch them and stay out of their way as well as they should be staying out of your way. So it's imperative that everyone stays observant throughout the process. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to drive around, wait in line at the scale if there's a line. And then after you gain access to the scale, you will be driving onto the scale. At this point, you should make a mental note of your weight and you will at that point see a green light. Once the green light flashes, you will drive around and wait in line at the appropriate area. The appropriate area is going to be behind the trailers. And if there's no trailers as seen in this video, this is the appropriate area to wait. But there should be a trailer or two at least waiting to be filled up full of debris. After you pull up into the appropriate area, you're going to wait outside your vehicle. It's imperative that you do not sit in your vehicle. This does include days that it's snowing, and or raining. You must stand outside your vehicle. The people need to be able to see you and they may not even call you into the chute to empty if you're not outside the vehicle. After you are cleared and they're giving you direction to which bay you're going to pull into, you are to either dump or unload your vehicle and proceed out. If you need to shut your tailgate, it's imperative that you don't just pull out enough to shut your tailgate, that you pull over to this area to shut your tailgate. After shutting your tailgate and stowing all the necessary equipment that you use to unload, it's then necessary to proceed over what's called getting your lightweight. You will do the same thing as before, except this time you will be empty and your truck or vehicle will be emptied light. After receiving a green flash, you will then pull in front of the office. And this can either be right in front of the office if it's not that busy, if it's much busier and if you need to, you could pull over to the right side of the office. After you get your lightweight and you pull into the necessary or available areas, then you need to go inside and take care of payment. You could either pay with a check, cash, or a credit card, whatever is most convenient for you and your company. Now, when you're done with the scale, what you want to do is you don't want to hang around and, you know, do paperwork after you get off the scale and get your paperwork. What you want to do is, if you can, please exit the premises as soon as possible. This way, if it's really busy, you know, they can get the new customers in and out as soon as possible. Thank you for using LNS Demolition and Recycling. 